Now, in yesterday's video, I introduced this 911 4S Cabriolet as the first car that I was driving here in LA. Well, I wanted to stop and do a full feature video on it because not only is it the first car that I'm driving, but it's also basically going to act as my daily driver. This is a track-worthy car and the guys there have hooked it up so that I can basically use this more often than not. Whilst we've got some awesome things lined up, I'm going to be driving things for two, three days, weeks, sometimes just half an hour. The car that you're going to see featuring most of all on my channel during this Vlog Angeli series will be this 911 4S. So it only made sense in my mind that I do a full video giving you guys an overview of the car. Now I'm sure you're probably thinking, why is that idiot driving around LA in a convertible with the roof up? Well, it's because I'm British, okay? And the British were not designed to survive in temperatures of 115 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty certain that's the temperature of a frying pan when you cook bacon. I have had an interesting day. I think it's what some would call a shit show. Now, some of you might remember that I actually got my hands on a 991 4S earlier this year when I was filming some videos with Michelin ahead of Goodwood Festival of Speed. But I kind of made like a one-off challenge video. I didn't really review the car, but I ended up using that car for around a week and I kind of loved it. <laughs> So when Trackworthy got in touch and said that they'd arranged for their 4S to be available to me for my time in LA, I was like, hell yeah, because I knew how awesome these cars are. I feel like JWW. He was dramatic ups and down shifts. The Porsche paddles kind of bring that out in me. I think the biggest thing that blew me away about my first sort of hands-on experience with a Porsche, by the way, I'm gonna keep saying Porsche. I'm sorry, it's like an old habit. I know it's Porsche, Porsche, but I just say Porsche. Oh, I've just broken some cardinal rule. I'm really not good at driving in the US yet. I nearly hit a woman just then. Anyway, yeah, the biggest thing that blew me away about 911s was the handling, which is, should come as no surprise to anyone, the seating position, and the usability. And if that's not a real word, let's make it one. I really think that 911s are the ultimate sports car. I know they've been heralded as that, herald, heralded. See, the heat is affecting me. I know they've been heralded, there we go, as that for years, but for me, until I'd experienced one, I never quite got that. I was just like, meh, okay. But yeah, the, the driving position, the handling and the usability just blew me away. It reminded me a lot of my F-Type in terms of the comfort of using it every day, but it felt like everything was just that bit better, just a lot more refined. And really that comes through in the sort of performance. weird it's almost as if there is turbo lag <laughs> because a huge amount of the power delivery is in the latter part of the rev range and the thing that took me the longest to get used to about 911s and particularly the 4s that i experienced before was just how long they rev for I mean, this one redlines at just under 8,000 RPM. And I just end up shifting way too early the whole time. That was only 5,000 RPM. But I'm like, shift, shift. I remember when I drove James's GT3, he kept saying, let it rev out, let it rev out. And when you do, that's when it kind of blows you away. But personally, the lower rev range, I'm a bit like, 
get on with it. It's like they should have kept all the talk back for so late that it feels like there's this weird turbo lag. And coming out of some corners, even since I picked up this car a couple of days ago, I've just been like, because it's not a slow car, this car, but it's a little bit frustrating at times when it's not kind of super, super responsive all the time. You've got to be just revving the crap out of it to get the kind of really exciting performance. Having said that, it does sound bloody awesome, this car, all the time. It's a huge thanks to Trackworthy for sorting it all because it's so cool. I think, personally, I feel like there's kind of a stigma with non-GT car Porsches. The kind of ordinary Porsches, like, oh, yeah, whatever. And I agree that they're not really that exciting or exhilarating. They're kind of like, yeah, it's just it's a 911. But when you're driving one, when it's in your garage, it's bloody awesome. I mean, you can't go wrong. I think personally I'd want the GTS variant just for that kind of extra bit of craziness. And I'd probably want two wheel drive, not four wheel drive because it feels a bit safe, this car. Brilliant as a daily, but a little bit safe. I still want a bit of fun and a bit of slip. And let's face it, even though I've been miserable in the heat today, by far the best thing about this car is the fact that the roof can go down. At least when you're in LA, because I don't like the look of soft tops, really, unless the roof's down. So, without further ado, I should probably melt. Oh, oh, it's already, oh my God, it's so unbearable. I mean, it's not unbearable, it's very nice, but if it was, if it was just like 10 degrees less. Now what happens here, do I just... It does mean that you get to hear a bit more of that awesome exhaust pipe, I have to say. Ugh. a bit of a disaster in terms of filming today. I think I need to get used to the heat a little better. But hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight into the car. It is going to be featuring a lot more. We're going to have plenty of times to go and rag it up on canyon roads and probably compare it with some other cars. Make sure to subscribe for all the videos that are still to come and give it a thumbs up if you're happy that the 911 4S is my daily for my trip here. It is 5 a.m. But the good news is it means I get to go to my first ever LA car event. As if I wasn't in love with America enough already, I turn up at this event and the very first car I see, a freaking challenge Stradale. Left it, or if it's straight edge, the vibe is the common thread. You see me bombing mics when I come and dear. But otherwise,